So let's say we had two straight line equations, 2x plus 7y equals 28, and y equals 3x minus 1. Now, we might want to uh, sketch these two graphs on the same axes, okay, on the same diagram, just to really have a look at what they look like together. So 2x plus 7y equals 28. When x is 0, we're going to get 7y equals 28, so y equals 4. And when y is 0, 2x equals 28, so x equals 14. So 4 on the y-axis, 14 on the x-axis. So have quite a shallow gradient, 4 and 14. And this line here, the y equals 3x minus 1, will have a gradient of 3, so relatively steep, certainly steeper than this one, going through minus 1 on the, the y-axis. So there's minus 1, and this is your y equals 3x minus 1. 2x plus 7y equals 28. Okay, so there's my two lines. Now, it might be that I want to find, well, where do they intersect? Okay, now, the word intersection, whenever you're asked to find the intersection of two graphs, should always throw up into your mind simultaneous equations. Because it is through solving equations simultaneously that we find the same values of x and the same values of y that are required, so that when the lines are equal, they both have the same x, they both have the same y. So, in other words, to find where they intersect, I need to solve this pair of simultaneous equations. Now, you should have seen how to do that on several occasions. Um, in a lot of cases, using the elimination method, but certainly also using the substitution. And this one lends itself well to the substitution method. So I'm going to replace the y in the first equation with 3x minus 1. So 2x plus 7 lots of 3x minus 1 is equal to 28. So if I multiply that bracket through, I get 21x minus 7. So 21x and 2x is 23x. Add the 7 to both sides and I get 35. So x will have to be 35 over 23. Okay. Now I also need to find the y coordinate. So if I substitute that back into one of the two previous equations, the second one looks like the easiest to work with. So y is equal to 3 lots of 35 over 23. Take away 1. So 3 lots of 35 is 105. And 1 could be written as 23, 23 over 23. So now that I've got a common denominator, 105 take away 23 is 82. So I have 82 20 thirds. So the intersection of those two lines occurs at 35 20 thirds, 82 20 thirds. Okay? And that's how we can use simultaneous equations to find where two lines intersect.